it's a game. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you guys can see, I did get a new car. We did go get her clean. She is nice and clean and ready to be shown. I did want to clean her because I've had her for a little bit. And yes, it's a her. I'm going to say her. Because this is my girl. This is my new girl now. We're on new relationships. My previous was a boy. His name was Costas. And yeah, this is Mochi. Her name is Mochi. A little story on that. So I've only had one car, which was my black Chevy. Um, I've had it since high school once I first got my license. I've had it for a while and I did take good care of it. However, all good things must come to an end. Aww. Yes, yes, it is time for new levels. It is time for new adventures, like all that stuff. My car had damage done to it. That was like reoccurring. Like I've had this same issue for years now and it would like stop for maybe a year, maybe less than that. Even though I literally would pay to get it fixed, like no type of temporary fix or maybe that's what they were doing the entire time. I don't know, but basically I had to invest money into it when I was just like is it worth it like I've had the car for a minute it sucks yes but you know it's time like I feel like it was time to get a new car I didn't want to continuously have the same issue that I was having so right now we are in my new car my new car is a 2022 Honda Accord hybrid sport now I most likely would have waited for 2023 because I literally got the car in when did I get it? Yeah, I got it in January. I could have waited. However, I couldn't because my previous car was like, I didn't feel safe driving it. And the new 2023 Honda Accords, they were going to go out in March. And I was like, I kind of need a car before March. I did get the hybrid model just because the way that gas is going up and down and I don't know, it's not even really going down. It's probably going down maybe like three cents. I was like, let me get a hybrid just so that I don't really have to deal with gas that much. So yeah, let me go out and show you guys the exterior.
right, so you guys just saw the exterior of the car. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, white. I normally, mm, I never would go with white. White, you have to maintain it, and that's something that I didn't really want to do. However, it grew on me. Like, the white is like a pearl. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, it has like a little bit of glitter in it, and that's literally what it's called, like a white pearl color. But Honda has like this blue color as well. Those are the only two around. Getting this car, hold on, let me prop you guys up. That way I can like talk about it more. Getting this car, it was really hard. It was really hard. I never really was interested in Hondas at all. Like, they never really caught my eye. But the new ones did. Like, I liked the way they looked. And then I got a chance to, like, drive a couple. And I was just like, I kind of like this. I kind of like this. This one kind of had everything that I wanted. Like, I liked the aesthetic. Um, I wasn't planning on getting a sport at all. Like, a sport version at all. But that's kind of all they had. Like, everywhere was sold out. They, Because they stopped making the 22 hybrids. And I knew that I wanted a hybrid because I could have just got a regular one. But I was just like, no, let me invest in a hybrid. That way I can kind of save a bit on gas as well. The blue one, it was cute and it is cute. However, I didn't really like it. Like I wasn't really in love with it. The white one, I also was just like, mm, uh, don't really want. And then all the other ones were like in different states and I wasn't gonna pay for shipping. So this one had like seven miles on it. I think I was the only one to drive it, he said. Brand new, brand spanking new, had seven miles. And this is gonna be like a birthday present for me. Like it literally is. This is honestly the car that I wanted. I do want a Jeep, but I don't wanna pay for a Jeep, like at all. And I don't wanna pay for the gas, at all. I messed up my Chevy, right? And I rented out a Jeep. And it was nice, but that's when I realized, do I really want a Jeep right now? No, I don't. Let me show you guys the inside of the Honda, what it looks like. This is where you guys are propped up. If you guys saw on the outside, this is just where I have you guys propped up. I had to improvise. It's push to start, of course. It turns red, and I think that's so cute. And as you can hear, all you can hear is the heat going on because it's kind of chilly. Turned off the heat. Like you literally can't hear anything. Like it's it's on. Ugh, I just love that. I love that so much. But right here, you guys can see where the battery is. Over here is where I have my actual like gas for if I run out of the battery. Oh, so, you know the cruise control. Um, there is lane assist on here, and then Bluetooth calling. One thing that I do want to point out: this car does not have heated seats. Yes, normally that would be a deal breaker for me. Like I'm sorry. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't have heated seats? Every car should have heated seats, especially if y'all gonna be charging what y'all be charging for these cars. No, no excuse. However, I am planning on moving, so where I'm going, I don't need heat, like at all. So that's why I was like, I'm fine. And then also, while I still am in Maryland, um, you know, I've obviously been, obviously been using heat. And one thing that I will say about this car is you really don't need heated seats. Even if I were to stay in cold areas, I'd be fine with this only because it heats up really fast and really well. Like I have it on the first setting. As you can see, there's only one bar. You can go all the way up and I'm hot. That's one thing that's nice about this car is it does heats up really fast. And then even with AC, it does get pretty cold really fast. So you don't really need heated seats. You don't. And even with the seat. I love the seats only because I like how it gives off that sporty look. This is leather, like the head, the back, um, the sides. And then right here is cloth, which I actually like. But I like this whole like carbon fiber look that it has. Um, that is really cute. It has it right here in the middle. And then on the side, it's popping. But yeah, back to the leather. I actually don't mind that it doesn't have all leather seats. My previous car was all leather. Literally everything was leather in there. And it burnt me. Like in the summertime, it burns. And then in the winter, it's cold. So back to the controls. We can have our own climate controls. And then you can also sync it, which is cool. The display, it has automatic Apple CarPlay. So I don't have to, which I, I could plug my stuff in. But since it automatically connects to my phone through Apple CarPlay, I don't even have to do anything. It'll just automatically be there. Whole freaking GPS sort of thing. Or we can do that vibe. You know, Apple CarPlay. Yeah, uh, pretty much all the new cars, I would say from 2018, I feel like they'd have Apple CarPlay. Maybe 2019. Everyone has Apple CarPlay pretty much. My car did not have that, so I knew with my next car, I wanted to have it. The radio. Oh. 
Yeah. yeah. Here is where I shift gears for reverse. It's nice. Shows up there. And listen to this. It's like a little humming that it does. It is so therapeutic. I love it. You hear it? Do you guys hear that? It's so like, ugh, it feels like a spaceship. Like I literally feel like I'm driving around in a spaceship. Definitely get a hybrid. It doesn't matter what hybrid you get. My mom, she has a um, Honda, no, I'm sorry. She has a Hyundai hybrid and her sounds like a spaceship as well. So I feel like it's just definitely a hybrid thing. And for sport mode, which I love is once you hit it, it'll be red. And let me show you guys the trunk. Show you real quick. Has a little button underneath and I just press it. Put everything in my trunk for when I got my car clean. So my car came with all weather mats, like even for the trunk, I have all weather mats. These are my carpet mats that I just never put up. Um, but the seats go down that I can lay it flat if I would like. And it's a pretty big trunk space, like pretty big trunk space. Yeah. And then my favorite is my rims. Especially when I'm driving, like it looks so good because it just spins. Ah. Guys, I definitely love this car and I'm very proud that I accomplished this. Like this is a really big achievement for me. This is my first time buying a car in my name because like I said, my first car was when I was 16. So I was like a co-signer on it. Um, and then once, you know, I started working and stuff like around like when I was 18. It switched to my name I and mean, I was paying of course for it but it was still like you know my mom did the whole thing like this is my first time where I did the whole thing it was based off my credit it was based off my funds my choices my signatures on everything like I'm the primary like I'm just pat myself on the back like I really I really am proud of myself for doing that. Even though I didn't want to, because believe it or not, I knew I needed a car and everyone wants a new car, right? But then if you really like sit down and think about it, it's like, do I want a new car? I don't. Do I want a new car note? I don't. I had to make the decision myself and what I was gonna be doing ahead, like my plans and stuff. And I was like, what would be the smart decision to continue invest some thousands into this car or put that thousand towards a car that will give you longevity which hondas are known for because that's another reason why i chose honda very blessed and i'm very thankful to god of course for leading me to this decision because like i said i was pretty upset about it i was kind of torn i was like should i pour money into my current car that way i just don't have a car note but i can still pay these thousands or is this just gonna happen again which it was and i was going to just get something that i didn't really want but it was cheap but then i was like no 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 i am an adult and this is this is something that i've researched so i was just like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i'm gonna get something that i actually want and this car is that it came with tents it came with all weather mats which i'm so thankful for because yes yes you definitely need all weather mats i mean you can always buy your own but there's nothing like having like dealership weather mats you know interior is black I definitely love a black interior like I think it looks clean interior is mainly what I care about I need it black I'm happy that I got a hybrid that was close by I didn't have to drive really far like an hour that's perfectly okay I can do that and I'm glad that I had people here that helped me with my decision honestly so yeah I'm thankful for that as well it was just for me cuz I was praying about it I was really praying about it cuz I was kind of stressing me out a little bit cuz I'm like I'm literally about to move and I have to buy a new car what but then I knew like okay this could honestly be a blessing in disguise because what if my car just broke down on me as I'm moving you know like, I'm gonna have to get a new car eventually like the car lasted long like I had that car since I was 16 and now I'm 20 I was 23 at the time when it died so because I'm 24 now I've been 24 for like a week um, I feel good driving in it I feel good getting out of it I've actually gotten a couple compliments which is a first for me that ladies and gentlemen is pretty much it yes let's just i'm gonna just show you guys the exterior one last time you guys see the shimmer i freaking love that that's one thing that i liked about the white car um but yeah just let me know what you guys thought of this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye